welcome to Work Love Wednesday. Today we have Smelter here for Work Love Wednesday. We are, it is time for Work Love Wednesday. Hi Facebook, hi Instagram. It is time for Work Love Wednesday. It's Wednesday, happy home day. Yeah, yeah. You can see Molly in the background floating around because she like couldn't decide if she wanted to be in here with me or if she wanted to be out in the house. So, um, good morning. Uh, so, yeah, I'm a few minutes late today because I am making king cake cheesecake bars for this networking event that we're hosting at the office tonight that's mardi gras theme which is why i'm making king cake cheesecake bars it's also why i look like a little bit of a bum because i'm baking then i'm gonna go to the office and decorate for this really awesome theme party we have like 50 people coming so i'm really pumped for tonight yet come and join us and network with all of these fantastic local business owners in New York County. Make sure that you follow us on social media because I'm sure that I'll be posting awesome photos with my beautiful green hair that I gave sneak peeks of on Instagram. And um, oh, and you haven't seen the rest of my outfit. So I have a, a unicorn Mardi Gras top and I have gold metallic pants, which I'm so excited about. So um I'm sure I'll be posting lots of pictures of those later on and also of the event because there's all these amazing people that are showing up. We're having jambalaya, we're having daiquiris, uh, we are having beads, of course. Um, a lot of people are dressing up. It's just going to be an awesome time. It's called Bringing a Little Bourbon Street to George Street since our office is on George Street. I'm so excited. Anyways, so um, I wasn't very good at timing, so the uh, cheesecake had to oven exactly at 7:45, which happens to be when we do work love so um had to wait so i didn't burn those because i want to make sure that those are edible for all those who are attending and hopefully for me too because they are the gluten-free option so anyways so what's going on today we're talking about a topic that um probably does not seem like I should be so joyful to talk about it. But as you know, every Wednesday I come to you bringing you real life uh, weekly reflections. And um, for the last two weeks, I guess we're going on week three, um, since I started my medical Qigong training, I'm doing a daily practice, um, doing some heavy energetic purging, and recognizing that things are just bubbling up. And so uh, I talk about the most random things. I talk about memories that I haven't thought about in years, um, but it's good. It's coming through. It's uh, a lot of that. The other thing that you may have noticed if you follow me on, well, either one, because I kind of, I push the Instagram posts onto Facebook. I hang out on Instagram a lot more. So if you're looking to interact with me, I do that on Instagram a lot more. Um, not saying I don't check Facebook because I do, uh, but when, um, what is this saying? Oh, I'm posting about celery juice, which a lot of people laugh at me. And uh, celery juice is like this whole big movement. And you can look at hashtag team celery juice and look at all of it. It's uh, started by a gentleman uh, named Anthony Williams, known as the medical medium, but talking about all the detoxing natural elements of celery juice. My personal fascination is that it uh, helps with skin conditions. And as someone who has had very sensitive skin for my entire life. Um, so eczema, allergic reactions, having to pay attention to certain fabrics that I wear and even um, anything that I put on my body because knowing that I can have a massive reaction to it. Um, I have found that drinking celery juice every day makes those symptoms magically disappear. So um, as I have been doing, this is why it all ties back together, as I have been doing the energetic purging per se, I have noticed that I've had other kinds of breakouts that are happening as far as on my skin, whether they're related or not. There's no actual technical proof that they're related, although they can say that that can happen, that anytime you're purging ener energy, energy which is a physical manifestation, it can um, generate a physical reaction in the body. So 
almost uh, flu-like kind of symptoms, um, and also it can manifest as an actual physical uh, breakout of the energy trying to come through the pores. And so that has been an unpleasant thing of uh, energetic purging or something else that I put into my diet. And so I've started to drink celery juice again to help with that process, uh, pretty much doing anything to help move things through. Yeah. Anyways, so that's what that is. That's what that green juice is. I have that in the morning, drink it every morning on a empty stomach and then wait 20 minutes before I'm able to have my latte. It says mom's the boss because I am. Anyways. Um, so yeah, those are the, the big updates and going back to this whole idea of anger, right? That I want to talk about today. It's so relevant, or I shouldn't even say, I just feel very compelled to speak about this today because I was sitting on the fence if I wanted to bring it up or go on a different kind of topic because there's tons of things that have been happening or insights that I've had, um, and I could pick on any one of them to kind of riff and share that I think would be good for me and hopefully serve any of you that are watching this now or later on in your day. Um, but this past week, I mean, this past weekend was St. Patrick's Day, um, talking about the green, talking about the green hair tonight. I mean, the color of green is the green is the color that uh, goes with the organ, which is the liver. And the liver energetically is what holds the deep rooted emotions that are associated with anger. In fact, when the liver is not purged um, or regulated or taken care of energetically, uh, the excess emotion that appears is anger. Um, and so when we're doing clearing with the liver, we are tonifying by visualizing, breathing in the color green into the liver, and then um, basically uh, exhaling and purging out any turbid, negative, stagnant kind of chi. But, um, Anger is one of the primary symptoms to show that maybe there is an energetic uh, excess or uh, even depletion in the liver, um, which is a huge, huge organ in our bodies. Uh, you'll see all kinds of people cleansing the liver. Uh, the, the things that the liver does serving as a filter, a filter for everything that's coming into our body. Um, is magnificent and so it's definitely an organ that we want to take care of and so paying attention to, to energy from an energy body kind of aspect uh, is very fascinating to me when linking it to the uh, major organ systems in the body but one of the things that happened to me uh, three weeks ago when I went to my medical Qigong training and I was in class um, and this whole idea about anger came up in relation to the liver organ uh, and we went through all the major organs and talked about the excess emotion that is associated to those organs and I would take them in and I uh, you know try to be very open um, and real with myself if I have one of those excessive emotions. And when we talked about anger, um, I don't view myself as an angry person. Um, not saying that I don't get angry, but it's not where I typically take my emotions initially. However, I have had a history where um, I've been on the receiving end of some intense anger or hurt. Um, and most recently, I mean, I would say probably within the last five years, as I've started this personal journey of working on myself and healing myself and knowing that when you do that, uh, it shifts your energy and your interactions with people. We've talked about that in previous episodes. Um, one of the things that has happened in some of those really big not milestone moments. I mean, as we talked about last week, Tony likes to refer to them as uh, guidepost moments. But those guidepost moments that have been really significant, um, anger, 
I was receiving anger on that end. Um, and then just some really random uh, situations where I felt like anger was just surrounding my home, surrounding uh, my office space, and not really understanding where that energy was coming from. And so uh, it, it prompted me to ask my teacher if, you know, seeing anger around you more so than feeling like you experience it internally, if that would be um, a sign that the liver needs purged energetically. Um, and the first question that he asked me, and this is someone who had just met me that weekend, is, are you an angry person? Do you consider yourself an angry person? Um, and then he followed up very quickly saying that I don't perceive that you seem like an angry person. Um, and I said, well, I don't, I don't think so, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I get angry. I mean, I experience anger, but I wouldn't say that I'm an angry person. Um, and he quite frankly said, you know, I think that, you know, if you're experiencing these external kind of influences um, that are heavily charged with anger, whether you're absorbing that energy from those people as they're giving it to you and you're carrying that with you, and that is uh, energetically what you're holding on to, or um, if there are stuff that you just don't know that you have materialized and held on to as anger. Um, and... Um, he gave me uh, some recommendations as far as some healing sounds and exercises to do and really focus on uh, for the next 90 days to see if it made a difference in what was happening around me uh, energetically, if I feel like I'm still um, attracting anger per se, um, and also what bubbles up for me emotionally. Um, and so as you've seen over the last couple of weeks, I really have been making it my focus to give it a try, give it a whirl. Um, just like anything I introduce into my practice, personally or professionally, um, I'm the guinea pig first before I share it with anyone else. Um, I don't ever share tools or tips, personally and professionally, like even with my friends and family. And then also in the work environment or in the books or anything, I don't share anything unless I have found it to work for me. Because we have found that, I shouldn't say we have found, but you know that when you're dealing with the world of teaching or putting yourself in a place where you are teaching others, whether it's in coaching or training um, or public speaking, which is a lot of the stuff that I do currently, um, it basically puts you in a place to attract those who you can best help. Uh, and that's who show up as your, as your students are those who your message and the way that you talk and the way that you communicate and the things that work for you would best help those individuals. Um, and as I've slowly accepted that, you know, as you come to that conclusion of knowing that you can't be everything to everybody and that's not the point, it's to be helpful to those that you can help uh, knowing that truly I am the guinea pig and that the tips and tools and trades that I'm going to put there uh, potentially are going to help those that are feeling called to work with me um, or to connect with me on that grand scheme of things. Those who choose to watch every Wednesday, which this last week I was blown away. I ran into a couple of people um, who had told me how they have been watching every Wednesday and even though they can't watch live at 7.45, even though that's when I have to do it to make sure that I do it every single week. Um, and this is episode 20, which I'm really pumped about that. It's been 20 times that they're following up and they're really appreciating it. And that just means the world to me. I mean, I think I would still show up every Wednesday and do this because there's something very much healing for me. Um, and this is part of my process and my journey. Uh, but the fact that I have the chance to share and take valuable time you find it worthwhile to watch is uh, monumental to me. It's just, I don't even know what the words are, but it's just, it blows my mind. Anyways, so going back to anger, because that's what we were talking about before I went down some really weird tangent. Um, as I have been purging energetically, I have realized that there is a lot of anger that has come up um, from things that I haven't thought about in such a long time. Um, and this is no surprise to many of you, especially if you've read 
the first book, From Heart to Heart, um, as you followed along in my journey. Um, I've talked about this whole idea, even Unstuck You, about having these massive kind of detours in life and then returning back to who we authentically are. Uh, and I don't know if they're detours anymore than more so us taking the scenic route or the country drive uh, to the places that we need to so that we can, when we're called to show up as our authentic selves, be ready to deliver and have that impact on the world that we were meant to have on the world. And so the things that are bubbling up for me is really a source of anger of those that made me shift and go on that country drive, um, put me in a place of believing that who I was authentically or what I felt naturally inclined to do was wrong, uh, was bad, was not good enough. Um, and as a result, I spent a lot of my early life basically scrambling to find something that I was good at, something that hopefully made me worthwhile to share with the world. And looking back on that, uh, not, I think I, at the time I was in such a place of asking myself, who am I to even to even question those who are trying to help me find my way uh, that I couldn't articulate the emotion that I was so angry that that was the position that I was in at that current point in time, that I was angry that I wasn't given permission to flourish by those that were showing up to love and support me at the time um, to be who I always thought that I was meant to be. Um, and, and so, yeah, it's, it's anger. Um, it's hard. It hurts. Uh, it's deep rooted and it's, it's coming up more and more. Um, but it's an awareness that I, haven't had um, to this point. So even all of the work that I've done to pull things out, um, even when I felt like I had cleansed so much writing from heart to heart, which is what that book is, regardless if anyone read it or not, it was more of a personal healing uh, victory for me to put some things out that I just had never talked about or shared because um, I was living in this bubble of who I thought I needed to be and share with the world. Um, and even after that release and feeling so much lighter to recognize that these things that are coming up that I thought I had processed and taken care of and put to rest and now realizing that that is not the case by any means um, is a rude awakening. And it's letting me figure out um, I shouldn't even say that. I'm, I'm also excited at the potential of what is going to happen after all of this junk is cleared out, after all of this stuff is gone and moved on, um, because I thought that I was really close to being back to who I was authentically or uh, back to a clean slate, and maybe that never happens. Um, but this made me realize that there's so much more work to do to get there. And so this year was all about being present and having a state of being and really owning and taking the time to bring to manifestation all these things that I have learned and absorb. And this entire process has really shown me how much more there is to bring to the surface and process um, before I'm able to... Uh, really feel like I've hit that level. Um, and so this, this year is an incredible year for self-transformation for me um, and focusing on the things that I've already been doing and getting uh, better at doing them and getting great at doing them um, and sharing with people what I'm doing this year on my personal journey. Um, but... Yeah. So I guess what I'll leave with 
leave you with this week is maybe it's not anger, maybe it's an excess emotion that you have, but knowing how significant the liver is to your body and the functions of life in general. My teacher asking me, am I an angry person, was one of the most pivotal questions I've had asked to me this year. And so I'm going to ask you that question. Are you an angry person? Are there things that have happened that you're angry about? And have you just suppressed them? Or do you need to heal them and process them through whatever method that you feel called, whether that is through um, therapy or a mental health professional, um, checking out Qigong with a practitioner local nearby, or doing those healing sounds workshops at the office for $5 where I'm sharing with you the exact healing processes that I'm doing myself. In fact, Friday we're doing a special workshop that's all about cleansing and purging the energy in the liver. Um, it's going to start at 7 o'clock till 8.30 at the end of our open house um, at Leadership Arts. So check those things out. And have an amazing week. Um, and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.